hi friends welcome to my channel and this is seventh video in uh, Veeam backup and replication advanced training and in this video I'm going to show you how to add Microsoft SMB 3 shares to Veeam so uh, SMB 3 shares is like a, um, uh, also known as a server message block is a protocol that provides way to computers to read and write files to the computers so SMB 3 is basically um, which is SMB3 is basically supported by Veeam 9.5 and which is basically in introduced in uh, Microsoft Windows Server 2012 so we are going to see how we can conf add and configure the SMB shares in Veeam backup and replication console so here you can see we have few shares on our file server which is win 2 12 fs 01 so let's move next slide and here is the lab environment for Veeam backup and replication for SMB3 so we are using the both or two old machine which is first one is win 2 12 dc01 which is our active directory server so here we go you can see our active directory server and um, the second server is win 2 12 Veeam which is our Veeam backup and replication server so is our Veeam backup and replication server so I'm going to just open a console here from Veeam backup and replication and connect with it so the next server which is brand new server we have a win 2 12 fs01 which is our file server which is running on SMB3 uh, because this is a window running the file server is running on Windows Server 2012 R2 so this file server is joined in my domain and it's having 6 gig of RAM and let's see the server so this is uh, Veeam backup and replication console so if I go to file and file server you can see my server detail this is Win2K12 FS01 and join in my domain and the IP address of this server if I go here you can see we have one D drive which having multiple folders and all these folders are shared basically so I can go to computers management, and there you can see the shares here all the shares folder and if I go in file and storage services and under shares you can see which protocol it's using so it's using the SMB protocol you can see and in Windows Server 2012 R2 SMB3 uh, as by default so this is all about the um, SMB3 shares and our file server so this is our setup and so let's go to the next slide and requirement to add SMB3 shares in Veeam so we have few prerequisites to add uh, SMB3 shares in Veeam so the first thing is Microsoft SMB shares SMB3 server must um, must run on Windows Server 2012 or later. So we are running this file server on Windows uh, Windows Server 2012 R2. So this is good. And the next prerequisite is file and print server must have enabled the uh, enabled and allowed Windows firewall to add file server. So let's verify this from Veeam server. So I'm going to access the file server and verify the file server access is not blocked by any antivirus firewall or anything so just typing the file server name and I'm able to access all my shares so it means I have a uh, access rights to this um, server so this is good we have access to file server and the next prerequisite is this is same thing the Veeam account must have full con uh, full control permission in the security settings for SMB3 shares or uh, uh, shares on which is running on a scale out file system which is uh, basically a um, cluster file server cluster so to verify this we need to make sure the security permission so if I go here on any of the server shares and go to the security setting you can see by default the administrators which is uh, whatever account is uh, having administrators group in this uh, FS01 they are going to get the access so by default our our account which is if I go to administrator I can see 
my backup admins account is added here and my this account if I go in AD this back this group is same which we have uh, post in last uh, video from the group policy so if I go here you can see my account SVC hyphen Veeam is added here in backup admin so basically my this SVC account which is my account here where my you can see this account having the administrator rights on this folder on this server so by default it's going to have access on all these uh, share folders so this having administrator rights so this is completed and the next one is file server and file server VSS agent services must need to be installed so either you can run this command on PowerShell to install this services either you can go and install manually from add and remove features on a file server so I'm on a file server add and remove features and role business solution so if I select my server and click next you can see file server role is already installed on my server so you can see file server is already installed so I'm going to install you can see also our VSS agent is installed so we are basically um, completed with this so this is good and the next thing which is select credential for the account during the installation must have administrator privilege on file server so this is has been already verified so our mm, oh, if I go here and uh, you can see uh, on Veeam server I'm using this service account to log in which is here so this account already having the administrative access on this file server if I go here and um, which is already verified from administrator groups so backup admins so this is good so we have completed all the f of our requirements and now we can go and install the add the SMB share so I'm going in my inventory here and you can see the backup infrastructure or add server so I'm going to click on add server so from here I need to select uh, um, Microsoft SMB3 and then you will get the option to add DNS so I'm going to add my DNS name here which is FS01 and this is called SMB3 on Windows so on Win 2K12 FS01 so click next and what type of uh, SMB3 is this is not a cluster this is standalone so I'm going to select a standalone file server and click next and under the credential I'm going to use my Veeam service account credential so click next so it's going to detect the component if component is installed or not so currently we don't have any component installed related to Veeam on this file server the only installer service is installed so we can go and inst uh, this the setup is that is automatically going to install ta transport and integration so if you you can also go in back and verify the ports which is going to be used for these services so I'm going to click next and here you can see The, uh, the tools are going to install so click apply and this is going to start manage server maintenance job so uploading transport Veeam transport MSI package to file server now package is getting installed so it's going to take few seconds to get the installation done for this transport package and we can verify on our file server also transport package is getting installed so now when it's installing the package for Hyper-V integration this is also done so all the three prerequisites which was given here uh, has been successfully installed Veeam installer service, Veeam data mover and Hyper-V integration so we got all the three services on our file server so this is good news so if I go back and you can see all the information server has been added successfully so I can click on next 
and then you will get the standalone SMB3 share and this is the server operating system and we have the user account and hardware information you have a code you have a JHS type and component which was installed so click on finish and now if I go to backup infrastructure there was some prerequests so if I go like uh, you can see the recommendation if I go to SMB3 and a standalone host I can see my file server here which is a standalone SMB3 shares and if I right click here and share folders I can see all the share folders which is available on this file server uh, which is running on SMB3 uh, so if you can see the maximum concurrent snapshot so if you want you can make uh, go and uh, change the maximum concurrent um, snapshot for any specific folder and this is not recommended to disable change block tracking on the host which is not recommended so change block tracking is something whenever something is going to tr uh, change in your shares uh, under the files or folders it's going to uh, automatically going to detect those changes and make those changes back to the veeam server so this is good so we are good with that and the veeam uh, file server has been added to the veeam server and so so this is all about adding the sm microsoft smb3 shares to the veeam backup and replication so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me in my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye